question, how we can get information from the server? And among them which are the best ones? Your answer should be, we can get information from server using G underscore scratch pad, Glide Ajax, Glide Record, G underscore form dot get reference. The top ways to get information from the server are G underscore scratch pad and asynchronous Glide Ajax lookup. If you find this content helpful then please like and subscribe. We wish you all the best. Question. How can we declare workflow scratch pad? Your answer should be, the scratch pad itself is automatically available to an executing workflow and requires no specific declaration. Variables are declared and stored in the scratch pad simultaneously by referencing it. Workflow.scratchpad.variable name equals variable value or var my value equals workflow dot scratch pad dot variable name question list of data types stored by workflow scratch pad your answer should be the workflow scratch pad can store multiple data types primitive integers boolean values or strings javascript object user data scriptable java objects Glide record or glide date time. Question. Which one executes first UI policy or client script? Your answer should be. UI policies execute after client scripts. Question. Does client scripts run on lists? Your answer should be. Client scripts do not run on lists. Question. Define glide ajax. Your answer should be, the Glide Ajax class allows the execution of server-side code from the client. Question, what is the use of sysparam underscore name in Glide Ajax? Your answer should be, Glide Ajax uses sysparm underscore name to find which function to use. Question, what is the use of get XML and get some await functions in Glide Ajax? Your answer should be, code is executed with the get XML, or get some await, functions. Question what do you mean by function names starting with underscore? Your answer should be, function names starting with underscore are considered private and are not callable from the client. Question, what is the difference between get XML, and get some await, in Glide Ajax? Your answer should be, get XML, get some await, get XML is asynchronous get some await, is synchronous get XML, is used when you want processing to continue, even if the results have not been returned. Get some await, is used when you want to halt processing until the results are returned. This will halt everything and wait for it to finish and return the results if you are retrieving some data from server and next tasks does not depend on what you are retrieving from server. Then we'll use get XML. When you are trying to retrieve value of the variable. After getting value then only we can proceed next step like comparing it with user input. In such scenarios we'll use get some await. Question, can we execute script include from business rule? Explain with example. Your answer should be, to execute a script include from business rule, you just need to create an object of that script include, which is typically a class, and call that function of that script include with the object. Script include, my script function in the script include my function, in the business rule just right. var x equals new my script, x dot my function. Question, how do I call a br from a client script? Your answer should be, to call a business rule from a client script, use glide ajax. Question, what is the use of jf submit, gsft submit, null, 
g underscore form dot get form element ui action id triggers the ui action which is specified in the third parameter which is the action name slash element id your answer should be it is mostly used in ui actions that have a client side and a server side script at the end of the client side script you call gsft submit in order to trigger the ui action again this time running only the server side code question define slaw your answer should be slaw allows the service desk to track whether or not their representatives are providing a certain level of service the most common use of slas is to ensure that incidents are resolved within a certain amount of time question what are the types of slaw your answer should be there are three types of slaw slaw ola underpinning contract question define retroactive start your answer should be if an incident s priority is changed to one critical and a priority one slaw is attached at that time retroactive start means that the slaw counts from when the incident was first created rather than from when the incident s priority changed if retroactive start is cleared the slaw starts on the date and time that it was attached to the incident if you find this content helpful then please like and subscribe we wish you all the best